Hi friend, my name is Chandramani Sahu. In the previous post, I talked about the structure of a GPU. Now I will turn to the question of what a client does in order to apply the settings that we have configured in our GPUs. The processing of GPUs is initiated from the client side rather than being pushed from our domain controller. As such, your client have to understand the several things to process the correct GPU in the correct way. So in order to properly understand this, we need to look at a few additional concepts. Now we should understand how does the client know which GPUs to apply. So there are two types of GPU. There are uh, one is local GPO uh, that are configured locally on the client machine and are always you know processed and there are the GPO linked with Active Directory structure itself while the client knows that is needs to process its local GPO. It's not a clear which GPO in the directory structure apply to it. So within the directory GPO can be linked to you know site domain organizational unit not the local GPO because local G GPO is a locally we can apply right on the local machine but in the directory structure if you're talking about we can link to site domain and organize unit so depending on where the client object is located determine which gpus is applied for example we could see in our lab uh, here we see that the workstation named uh, the ind member one is uh, within the within the workstation ou and that is part of the uh, TNT uh, local domain though we don't see here uh, the IND member one client also belongs belong to the active directory site uh, known as a default site so you can see here known as default site uh, first site uh, name so give this you know given this GPO need to be processed by our client if you open the GPMC console uh, consider our you know client machine and we already know that you know the local machine should be applied on the uh, uh, machine side local machine side but uh, the gpus in direct structure will be applied from uh, will, uh, will be we can see it from here if you go to the workstation ou uh, it is expected to you know to see these two policies one is default domain policies and event log policies because we could see there are three policies that are available right one is default domain policy default domain controller policy and the event log policies but default domain controller policy which is not applicable for the workstation OU because it is the domain control is nesting with the you know TNT local and uh, and this policy is particular for the domain controller OU not the inheriting OUs okay so like the way event log size is not uh, is uh, correct it's for workstation OU the same way so this is because this workstation uh, OU is belong from this you know TNT local domain so default domain policy is applied and event log size also applied here okay so this two GPUs you know um, will be applied to here so now <coughs> The way the client actually see the uh, see these you know bit different like in order uh, of our workstation server to determine workstation or server to determine whether you know uh, it needs to process any policy first it looks the GP link attribute that exists within the Active Directory objects so this attributes when populated points to you know the name and location of the GPO that the client must client machine must consider so take a look the LDAP so I already showed in the last video I think but now again we can see here so here go to the connection and the connect and with this uh, uh, FKDN and 389 you can you know connect it then uh, it will take some time depending on your the speed of you know uh, computer so uh, my my machine is taking you know uh, time uh, yeah it's came now yeah go to here connection and bind it with the current user login and binding because I have the proper rights make sure you have also proper rights when you are binding to any user and go to the tree so you can view you can see the tree view so here uh, using the LDAP tool if you go here workstation you could see if you double click here if you, sh you could see here it is the policy is you know uh, are linked with the system container this is a system container actually be called and this is the policy okay and this policy is you know telling that you know 
the member one server right this is workstation tnt and it is telling that this policy is linked to this machine so by this way you know the client will you know pull the policy from the uh, active directory side